In the United States, people 65 years of age and older are the largest users of prescription and over-the-counter medications. Older adults, because of multiple medical conditions, are more likely to take a variety of medications than younger adults. The elderly are at risk for side effects, overuse or misuse of medications, or not following treatment plans properly. Meet our patient, Gladys Garcia, age 85. She is preparing to visit her primary health care provider, registered nurse practitioner, Julia Hernandez, and meet with her home health nurse, Wendy Prefercorn. Her health history includes diabetes mellitus, hypertension, and glaucoma. Before your visit to your primary health care provider, you should compile a list of all current medications you take in a medical journal, like the one Mrs. Garcia has shown here. This journal should be kept up to date with all current medications. When going to your primary health care provider's office, you should take with you your medication journal, any new prescriptions, over-the-counter medications, or herbal supplements that you are currently using. If you're experiencing any side effects from your medications or have concerns about them, this is the appropriate time to discuss it with your primary health care provider. They may be able to provide you with other options or resources. If you have a relative or caregiver that helps you pick up your prescriptions, organize your medications, or ensures you take them, this person should be present when you are discussing your medications with your primary health care provider. Only one person should be designated to help you with your medications in order to avoid any miscommunications. If any other specialist prescribes you a medication, consult this with your primary health care provider. It is important to make sure that the new medication prescribed can be taken in addition to your current medications. Remember, over-the-counter products such as aspirin or Tums are medications also and can interact with some of your prescribed medications. Tell your primary health care provider about any herbs such as teas or supplements you are currently taking. Also. Keep in mind there are certain foods like grapefruit that may cause an undesired interaction with your medication. It is important to ask about any foods that may be dangerous if consumed while taking certain medications. Because older adults often take several medications at one time, it is important to try and get all prescriptions filled at the same pharmacy. If your pharmacy keeps a record of all the prescriptions you have filled, make sure the list is up to date and includes prescriptions you have filled elsewhere. Make sure the medication lid is non-child proof, making it easy to open, but remember to keep this medication out of reach and sight of children who may live or visit in your home. Prior to leaving your pharmacy, revise your medications to verify that you receive them with non-child proof lids. Also, demonstrate to your pharmacist how you would open up your medication lids. Ask the pharmacist for larger print so that medications and their instructions are easier to read. If you are unable to pay for medications, there are several community resources such as state pharmaceutical assistance programs that can help. Be careful when ordering medications from international sources. These medications may not be safe and are not regulated by the government, more specifically the Food and Drug Administration. Once you get home, Review all of your medications while the information that was discussed at your primary health care provider's office visit is still fresh in your mind. For new medications, read the medication insert provided by the pharmacy to reinforce your learning about the drug's use and action. The medication insert provides information about the purpose of the drug as well as possible side effects that can occur. If any of the information seems confusing, 
ask a relative, especially the one that is involved with your health care, or call your primary health care provider. Afterwards, update your medication journal to ensure that the list of medications remains current. Remove medications that have been discontinued and include new medications you will be taking. Finally, it is very important to use memory aids such as the pillbox used by Mrs. Garcia. Memory aids will help you take the right medication at the right time. Doing so will reduce the potential for negative side effects from occurring. During the home health visit with your nurse, it is important to prepare any questions, concerns, or comments regarding your medications. Nurse Wendy Prefercorn is here to visit Mrs. Garcia for her weekly home health checkup. Thank you. 